Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor is due to Yahweh, my Hashem, Yahweh Shai, my Hashem, and Kabudash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. <coughs> Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. News in the gospel of God, lift up the standard. It will be held by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Uh, real quick, this is going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit. Uh, it's kind of hurt to talk, man. Uh, <coughs> I woke up with a pinch in my throat, unfortunately. Could be my sinuses, but uh, anyway, it says uh, it'll be jab or death for anti, you know what, Orban predicts. Show you this new form of uh, of of tyranny that Esau Edom will go the extreme measure to uh, establish the NWO. They're getting fed up with people that's not uh, complying with those orders, if you know what I mean. Um, so with that being said, man, expect laws and legislation or well, bogus laws or what they consider under the color of law to be uh, thwarted or to be aided in your different governments, man. All right. Because this is the time of the Lord's judgment. This is the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. And they're talking about dark winter, dark winter, the end of dark winter. You can expect people to be cured, poked or dead. Which, during these blackouts, amid these tensions, a lot of uh, people are going to come up missing, going to get extracted from homes and put in these internment facilities to be punished and to be held indefinitely against their will. Okay? We've been telling people this for years to come, and, you know, we were scoffed at, we were ridiculed, we were talked about. Um, a Salakia. <coughs> We were talked about, we were ridiculed, and we were often, you know, just mistreated because of the information we were bringing out. So, with that being said, it says here, such and such of all Hung uh, Hungarian citizens against the, you know what, it's inevitable, PM Vicar Orban can say, stating that even the most hardline such and such will ultimately face a choice between dying with the such and such and getting a you-know-what. Now, with that being said, scare tactic, right? People ain't really dying from this shit, but let's say if Esau releases some type of bio-agent, you know what I'm saying, or started to uh, uh, release, like, at the Travis Scott concert, um, you had people that started dropping dead due to the ritual ritualistic uh, 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 enemies that was present, but um, you heard people going around saying that they feel like People were getting poked with drugs, okay? My guess is during the ritual, I believe they would leave some type of biochemical well warfare that affected certain people that may have had that you know what. But you know, that's neither here nor there. You know, can't really prove that. But so many things that goes on in the world of Esau, it's hard to really determine what's what because he's just wicked. He's completely wicked. It says... Speaking to Kassoth Radio on Friday, the Hungarian leader lashed out at those reluctant to get this against that, branding them a threat not only to themselves but to all others. This is the narrative he is pushing to create a division because instead of him just going right after you, he can set it up to the point that people will be so afraid to the point that... um. <clears throat> They will start the chaos amongst each other. Like you go to work, you have a division between people that got, you know, vindicated and the people that's not dealing with that. You see what I'm saying? So this is the way of controlling the narrative, pushing forth one's agendas on helpless people. Okay, which you people, you're helpless, man. Okay, you've given all your power over to Esau and he's going to use it against you. That's just how Esau operates. Anybody have done history to understand Esau's tactics of taking over governments, lands, pillaging uh, fields, resources, everybody would know uh, that this man is not to be trusted. Okay, no matter what he says, no matter what he brings out in the in his talking head media, he's to not be trusted at any cost. Okay, because when you trust this man, then you have situations like this that we're reading about which is going to be a, a, a horrific thing for those of you that comply to it because the scriptures say 
and we're going to get that as well. Those that consider to them should be head in what derision, all right? So <laughs> you you fuck with it, you you're going to be a part of the laughing stock, and on top of that, you you're going to get destroyed because sooner or later, this thing is going to get out of hand to the point. The economic collapse comes, then you know what comes, and then, hey, you can expect we could be out of here, okay? W W World War War Three, all right? Because once the economy collapses, that's when nation goes to war, <clears throat> all right? And uh, that you know what, this the the, the M O T B will be the catalyst that was supposed to restore some type of normalcy, okay? But by then. America could possibly be entering the Third World War. It's the reason why they're talking about reinstating the draft, which women will be recruited. So now you get to put your equal rights and left to test. You wanted to be equal with men? All right, go over here and put this M16 in your hand. See what you can do with these Russian spetnaz, these uh, Gurkha troops, and these other nations. You know? But anyway, it says in the end, everyone will have to be, you know, even with the anti will realize that they will either get that or die. So I urge everyone to take this opportunity. Now, that's an indirect threat, okay? It's a direct. That's really indirect, but it's direct towards the people that's not dealing with this. And by this being uh, uh, part of the EU, NATO, you know, you got Austria, Australia, all these other conglomerates coming together, it's going to hit here in Babylon, all right? Because uh, one thing I can say about, I believe, is Sweden, I think it's Sweden or Switzerland, one of those uh, Edomite countries. They ain't, they didn't lock, they didn't do anything. They didn't, the numbers are low. They didn't promote this. They didn't, you know, go to, you know, go on uh, LD. You know what I stand for? Down, lock, reversed. They didn't go on those things. That didn't happen to them. You know what I'm saying? And they're still open. Nobody's having any issues. It just, the places that Esau has allowed this, this jump, this, this jump, this three-pointer, in the nations, it it pretty much created chaos, man. All right, so um, it's locked here, man. I just, like I said, my throat is really kind of scratchy. It's kind of weird. I haven't had a sore throat in over a fucking year, you know. But obviously, <clears throat> but it's all good. So it says the EU member state is currently experiencing this fourth wave of, you know what. Orban stated, blaming a situation on those uh, on those who had not got, you know what? <laughs> how the hell is that even true? How How is the people that's not dealing with it the problem? Especially when your particular body, your temple, it has what they call immunity. You, the Lord gave you systems to fight off certain things. And this is nothing different. It's the people that's getting the getting the, the three pointer that's causing the issue and that's what he's not gonna tell people because he's encouraging people to get the you know what you know it's all about agendas and and, and pushing madness all right um it says Orban stated blaming the situation on those who had not got this it says if everybody were you know what there would be no fourth wave or it could just be a small one. But regardless, it would still be one. All right. It says, apart from urging the un to go and finally get there, you know what? Orban also promoted boosters, revealing that he had already taken three doses of a, you know what? Which is bullshit, man. These mother, these, these, these dudes ain't, man, come on, man. They push it so hard for you to do it. They not doing this. I don't give a damn what anybody says. They're not engaging in this type of tyranny. They're not doing it. They're making you think that they're doing, but they're not doing it. This is just a ploy. Can't trust this man. It says the only thing that protects us from this is that. Okay, and I'm gonna say it this way, read it. Only thing that protect us from this is that, and that's a goddamn lie, okay? This and this do not go hand in hand. People that got this, what I'm scrolling on, has succumbed and dropped in great numbers, period. Fuck what they talking about. It's all, it's all lies and games and folly. You know, and they're sitting back laughing at you people that's actually believing this shit. It says, and we are also now seeing at least three experts are unanimous in saying that four to six months after receiving a second, the protective power of the such and such weakens. Therefore, a third is justified, he said. And there's going to be a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, 
8th and 9th or 10th. <clears throat> and the shit goes on. It says, but Hungary has already announced new anti-measures through somewhat short of strict measures proposed on the nation's medical chamber on Wednesday. It says, the which the medical field is wicked anyway. It says, in the medical body called for a blanket ban on mass events and suggested making entry into restaurants, theaters, and other indoor venues conditioning on bearing a such and such certificate so they have to show proof. Um, but it says, instead, Budapest rolled out in compulsory wearing or face wearing for most indoor environments as well as making the booster mandatory for all workers starting from Sunday, Saturday. A nation of 10 million Hungarians total of law cases hoovering just below the 1 million mark. But on Friday, I registered a new daily record, nearly 11,300 new infections. More than 32,000 people in Hungary have succumbed to this over the course of that. Who the hell is coming up with these particular figures, man? I'm curious. Like, that shit don't even make sense. It don't at all. But anyway, uh... <clears throat> Fuck. This is the worst shit in the world, having a scratchy throat. I have, I hate anything to be in my throat. It's the most irritating thing in the world, man. You know? But luckily, my shit only lasts for one day, especially when I herb up with supplements. But still, regardless... It just, man, it's torture. We got to get out of these bodies. But anyway, this is the book of Second Edge of 16, and I'm going to start at, let's start at first, uh, 68. It says, For the burning, or for behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they should take away certain of you and feed you being idols, or feed you being idle with things offered into idols. Okay? That's what this what this is. This is a pretty much an idol, man. With the biggest idol being the MOTB, okay? This whole Babylonian worship, this whole uh, uh, Roman system is based on idolatry. And they're trying to link you up into the idolatrous system, okay? When you are engaging in idolatry, you're making whatever you're worshiping your God. Esau wants people to bow down to him and his technology, man. That's what the whole concept of a... Of a metaverse is all about you bowing down to that image, okay? Because once they can hook you up, what we used to say that IoT, Internet of Things, and they can hook you up to that through all this technology, and then also uh, plug you into the metaverse. Shit, you basically have the kingdom of heaven on earth on the left hand side. While Esau is enjoying the, the beautiful or the beauties of the earth, you sitting in a house using real money to purchase fucking assets that don't even exist. While Esau is buying up all prior real estate and turning this place into a desolate wilderness, man. So, uh, yeah. You people don't even see how fucking stupid you are, man. Allowing yourselves to be fooled by this man. You know? That's what it says being idle with things offered into idols, man. <clears throat> idle in your mind because you can place it. You know what I'm saying? Not just idle physically, not just being detained in a prison. Which that comes along with it, but idol, you people are fucking idle minded, man. You like, when I mean, you have these iPhones and you got the do not disturb, where the idol is like a moon, you people are just stagnant in your thoughts. You don't think outside the box, you don't open up stuff, you don't read, you don't research, you know, because you people are so damn lazy. You know what I'm saying? You people don't do any studying, you don't do a damn thing, you just listen to the bullshit they teach you on the goddamn news and talk all this madness about like you know something. When somebody, when this clown, oh, well, you have to trust in the science. You have to trust. What, 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 what evidence is in that? You know what I'm saying? Especially when that bum ain't got to deal with this shit, man. Hey, don't you people fucking question any goddamn thing? Don't you question shit? Uh, if your whole leaders in office or whatever the hell you want to call these demons, if the motherfuckers ain't got to deal with this shit, why the fuck are you even thinking? Of, why, why, why are you even, even trying to force the shit on anybody else? You know what I'm saying? That's when I get upset at because I just look at it like y'all talking shit to people like me. But at the same time, none of you clowns going to Congress to curse out this. What's this hoe's name? This the bitch with the red hair. Uh, uh, Jen, so whatever the fuck the bitch's name is. The demonic hoe. You know what I'm saying? The liar. The, the bitch that's the one with the red hair. I don't want to say the whole name, man, because they may get in their feelings. But anyway, y'all ain't questioning what this fucking demon got to take it. Now I'm getting mad now, man. But you want to sit up here and try to curse out somebody that you feel like is on your level. But the assholes that's destroying your life, you clowns ain't even saying nothing about it. 
That's why we say fuck the two thirds, man. Fuck the two thirds of Israel, man. You gonna be destroyed, you know? Because out of all this shit, it's you niggas that's the fucking problem, man. You know, niggas is the reason why we still in this predicament. So the most I gotta move you out the way. All right. And it says, and they that consented to them should be had in derision and in reproach and trodden on the foot. You know, a nigga scholar always got to come with his scientific bullshit. Well, no, bro, you see what I'm saying? My grandpa caught that and he hit. Nigga, fuck your grandfather, all right? And fuck you too. All this dumb shit, man. You want to be a scholar, but yeah, you go listen to a falsifier in the clinic with a fucking gown on all because he has an ND. You know, like I was watching this show. Uh, power book two ghosts, right? And the realest thing in that show is in that nigga Tariq was basically cursing out the congressman dude. He was like, no, son, uh, there's a difference between illegal drugs and legal. He said, well, you got big rich men that pay all the lawmakers to make illegal shit legal. So, or, and, they, and legal shit is killing people more than illegal shit. So, who's to say that the legal shit is really legal? And that was a good point. I was straight up on point. I couldn't even scoff at that. And then Esau couldn't say nothing. He just sat back looking stupid because he know. So this is the same demon you Jake's trusting in, you know? And it says here, And they that consented to them should be had in derision and reproach and trodden on the foot. And for there should be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Now, you see this happening. People are protesting, man. They are protesting. They're rioting. They're doing all types of shit. You know, and on top of that, you had this written house. Uh, uh, trial that guy got vindicated or exonerated from. He got released. Not guilty on all charges. And now people are really out there pissed off, you know, which is just going to justify you saw bringing a, the hammer down on you even more. All right. And it says here, and they should be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, which you Israelites. That's why they had this, this demon Sierra invite her to the uh, White House to promote this jab because there ain't no fucking Edomite people going to listen to Sierra. Sierra was invited to the White House for you, Jake, for you Jakes. You know what I'm saying? Mainly you single women because if you look on her pages and stuff, mainly who follow her are single black women or single mothers. So she's already have the influence on the people there. But it says, be like madman, spare me none. It'd be jab of death for this. He predicts. <clears throat> okay, so either they're going to... You know, which we know they're going to bring in the foot soldiers. But at the same time, man, they may be justified on releasing some type of weapon on you people. And you will get jacked up. And really, the people that's going to die from that biological shit is the people that got the you know what. But they're going to say the people that died is the people that didn't get it. That's why they need to urgently push more BS. Because there's no way of checking if a person is dead, whether they had the you know what or not. Only authorities would know that. You see, so it's all psychological warfare, mainly on the children of Israel, you know. And uh, going here, it says here, and for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of the houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen and they should be tried as gold in the fire. All right, because we're going to get that spiritual power. Some brothers are going to get thrown in prisons to be tried and to uh, be beheaded for the Lord's sake, for the testimony. But it's all a trial, man. So you have to stay diligent and focused and you can't be afraid you know you just gotta let it play itself it gotta play itself out you know because after this man we on a on a long road on a, on a short road to the kingdom you know finally we get reunited with our powers and we get to live and i'm gonna say it may sound corny but live happily ever after shit and that's what we want in essence that's what really the whole world really needs but esau is in a way you know it says here Hear you, my beloved, says the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. And you're saying this thing grew up. Okay, as we enter this winter and things start to get weird, you know, like we had the blood moon uh, last week. Man, it's going to be a lot of different weird things happening on the planet. Prophecy, wars, unexpected breakout. Okay, more chariot sightings. These things are going to lead up <clears throat> into the coming of our Lord. And it reads, and it says... Uh, but I will deliver you from the same. So the Lord said he's going to deliver us. We're going to be delivered. Okay, that's that big thing. You're going to be delivered from this shit. So we ain't got nothing to worry about. At the end of the day, yeah, they're going to come coming for us. But the Lord said, look, I'm going to deliver you. How are you going to do it? We don't know. 
in the air. Though we do know that spiritual power is coming. How it's going to play out, don't have a clue. We just got to wait and see. But it will happen to somebody. But it says, so be ye not afraid and doubt for the most high is your guide. And the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, says your help, thy power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift them up. But warn to them that be bound with their sins, and covered with their iniquities, like as a field covered over with bushes, and the path thereof covered with thorns, that no man may travel through. It is left undressed, and it is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. So, the two-thirds of our people, the other nations, they're done. They're finished. All right, and this it's nothing we can do to help them. But anyway, I'm going to end it here. Giving all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. about Shimmy Hawa Shai Salaki for the, you know, the intermissions, the briefs and shit like that. Kind of the water. Like I said, I'm trying to get this, whatever it is, out of my throat real quick so I don't have to deal with it. But um, anyway, with that, Shalom, Baba Baba, Lord, so you edify to the next show. Shalom.